Hey guys, welcome to another Mr. Mutech video. You might have noticed that when you play Roblox on your iPhone, that it heats the iPhone up a lot. Um, some iPhones can even overheat from playing Roblox. And I'm going to show you a couple things that might cause that, but also just understanding that Roblox uses a lot of resources on your iPhone should make you think about making some changes to some settings that might help you in the future. So I'm going to show you some things that you can do whether you're playing specific games, and then also some iPhone settings themselves that might help you reduce heat. So a couple basic things to start with is you never really want to have a power source plugged into your iPhone when you're gaming because charging creates a lot of heat already. So you want to reduce heat. Don't plug in when you are gaming. The other thing is, is you do have some settings in each game that allows you to reduce the graphics. And I would highly recommend looking at doing that. So for example, this game here, you can go ahead and tap in the top corner of your, on your Roblox app for this little icon here that will provide some additional settings. Tap on the settings tab here. And then if you just scroll down, you're going to see a couple options down here for graphics and Currently, right now, you can see that my graphics are set to manual. So graphics quality is set to manual. Yours is probably going to be set to automatic. So you're going to have to change this right here under graphics mode. And then once you change that, it goes to manual and you can increase or decrease graphics. Now, if you have graphics all the way up, your iPhone is going to heat up massively. So try to find some kind of balance where the graphics still look decent but maybe not maxed out. So if you can put it maybe midway through or just reduce it all the way if your iPhone is heating up drastically. All right, so let's get out of the game actually and then look at some of the settings on our iPhone that we can make to improve the heating issue that we might be having. So go ahead and open settings on your iPhone. It's the little gear icon like this. And once you go ahead and go into settings, then you're going to want to go ahead and scroll down until you see the option for battery. Go ahead and tap on battery. And then what I would suggest is trying out low power mode, because if you tap low power mode and try that out, it will reduce a little bit of the graphics or it might actually make your iPhone screen less bright, but it's also going to reduce heat and it's also going to slow down any background activity. If you have apps that are trying to update or do things in the background while you're playing Roblox, it's going to stop them from doing that so much. So consider doing that. The other thing that you want to do is make sure you do not have a cover on your iPhone while you're playing Roblox. That's one of the worst things because heat cannot dissipate, kind of gets stuck, and then your iPhone is just going to heat up more. So think about not having a cover while you are gaming. So the other thing that we can also do is we can go ahead and test playing on Wi-Fi or cellular. And what you might want to do is just like turn off your Wi-Fi and then only use your cellular data and then just see if that makes a difference. And then if you are going to use cellular data, the other thing that you might want to do, I'm going to show you here is reduce the data that is being used. So what we could do is we can go ahead and go over to settings. And if you go to the settings option here, you're going to just scroll down until you see cellular. You go ahead and tap on cellular. And then if you go to cellular data options right here, go ahead and tap on that. And then you're going to see an option here for data mode. Go to data mode. And then what you can do is just set it to low data mode. And this once again is going to limit any background activities, and it is going to lower the amount of data that Roblox is using, which will obviously reduce heat of your iPhone device. So hopefully these things help you guys out. I know Roblox can get super, uh, your iPhone can get super hot while you're playing Roblox, but if you do some of these things, you should notice a major decrease in heat on your iPhone device. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys. If so, feel free to give me a like on this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day.